Hello everyone, this is Ashmita from Saurav Sir's classes. In today's video, we are focusing on WBCS question solutions. And we are going to uh, talk about five to six questions in each of our videos. So if you want to follow this solution, you can follow our channel or you can also join our classes for all the live lectures for any kind of preparation of your entrance exam. For that, you can check the description box below. Let's uh, begin our video of which of the phrases below is a term, is the term blog. You all have heard about this term, an abbreviation. So your answer would be weblog. Weblog, C-W-E-V, -E this uh, separated, web from weblog, we separated and it became blog, okay? So when previously it started, it was written, uh, it, it was uh, termed as web blog and from there it got broken into we blog. So the remaining thing is blog. So what is a blog by the way? Blog is nowadays commonly used, okay? It refers to a website or a web page that, contain, uh, that contains all sorts of regularly updated information or content which is uh, often seen in the form of posts or articles. However, the origin of this word was basically from the web log. So it now ha has, it has now become we blog. So only blog is now pronounced. Okay, let's move over to the next question. Select the word that best replaces the italicized word in both of the following sentences. The police are trying to control the crowd. Junk food may have high levels of harmful chemicals. So we can go with check because uh, the police are trying to check the crowd. We can uh, try to use and uh, the junk food may be kept a, a check because it has high levels of harmful chemicals. That is why we can use the word check over here in both the sentences. Next, fill in the blanks with the correct set of words. She was not interested in taking up French but decided to opt for German instead. So we are basically going with the first one. Fill in the blanks with the appropriate words. We need to look into this matter, look into this matter more thoroughly. Okay, that would be our answer. That is obviously in A. Look into and more. Select the word that best replaces both the italicized words or bold words in the sentences given below. Sentence 1 says the management did not find him suitable for the job. He, sec, uh, sentence 2 says he was not able to arrange all his belongings in, into one suitcase. So we would go with cram, that is, uh, sorry, not cram, uh, uh, that's fit, sorry, fit. So the management did not find him like absolutely fit for the job. And secondly, he was not being able to fit all his belongings or dresses or whatever he was carrying into one suitcase. That is why we are going with fit. Because fit is the only word that can go uh, by replacing these two bold words. Choose the correct word uh, for the antonym of shide. Okay. Let's first talk about the meaning of shied. Shied means uh, you, you are scolding someone or expressing disapproval or saying no or uh, disapproving something. Okay, you are not agreeing to something. You are not, uh, you are not approving something. So that is why the opposite of shied can be praise. Praise means you are approving something. You are expressing your admiration. You are expressing your approval for something. So that is why the opposite uh, would be praise of shied. Let's move over to the last question in the English section. That is choose the correct word in, which is synonymous with adjunct. Adjunct means additional. Okay. Means adding something extra or supplementary. Uh, obviously making it the correct synonym for adjunct okay and the other ones that is ambiguous means not vague uh, sorry vague or not clear enough to understand that is ambiguous amorphous means formless or shapeless admonish means uh, uh, some sort of uh, warning or threat given okay so that is why they, these words have totally different meanings so that is why we need to go with additional 
we are going to keep this video till here today if you have any kind of questions you can post down your questions below in the comment box and if you have any queries you can again post your queries also uh, if you are preparing for any kind of entrance exams uh, then you can just join our classes for the live sessions and recorded sessions mock tests facility study materials um, so yes that's it for today's class you can check the description box for more details. Thank you for being with me. Let's meet again in the other videos.